I started this model probably five years ago. And I never finished it. And I don't even remember what the name of this kit is. Let's see. It's the Water Street Freight House. I think maybe it's time I finally finish it. I took the leads from the LEDs, for the warehouse section, ran it down through, I think, made up a little office there and then through the bottom of the floor I mixed up some green paint to try to match the green that I have on the building I divided the office section into four rooms I have a floor dividing this two stories and then I have two dividers splitting each story in half. You can see where I've glued some LEDs and these will be lights for the bottom floor. And You can see I have some leads coming from the LED light over the entry door. And of course the building's upside down right now. But until this canopy glue dries, I don't want to turn it over. I installed the roof halves in the warehouse section and I had to use putty to fill the seam where the two halves join and I'll need to touch that up with some paint. I added a light over the door and I also installed all of the bracing for the roof overhang on both sides. What I'm wanting to do with this is run all of the wires to the bottom of the warehouse. Then I'll build a resistor board and I can connect all the wires to the necessary resistors underneath the warehouse. I'm going to try to keep my wiring somewhat organized. I fed the wires from the office building into the bottom of the warehouse and now I'm gluing the two halves together and I'm using some to me an extra thin cement. I have the two pieces on this thick piece of ABS plastic Hopefully keep these two pieces level with each other while I glue the two halves together. I've given the structure about an hour for the Tamiya modeling cement to cure. And now what I want to do is make up the resistor board. For the lighting. I've run the office wiring through the wall here into the bottom of the warehouse. So I have all these wires here. I cut a piece of PC board and I have a bag of 500 ohm resistors and I'm going to use a 5 volt power supply to power these LEDs. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make up a resistor board and get this stuff wired up. I have the LEDs all wired up. Let's see my resistor board. And I know it looks like a mess with all the tape. I just want to get the wires taped down so they don't get snagged. Especially some of these real fine wires like right here. I have, this is my common ground. It's 20 gauge, now that's overkill. But I'm running the negative for all eight LEDs out through one wire. So it's going to carry a little more current 
than these wires will. Now I divided up the eight LEDs into three. So the white wire is the two lamps over the doors and the two bay lights. And then the green wire and the yellow wire, one's the first floor, one's the second floor, floor lights for the office building. And with the lights off, here you can see the LEDs that are on. In the warehouse bay, and then in the office building, and then the light on the front door. I'm going to touch up the roof where I used filler to fill the seam between the two halves. And once I get these roof tiles painted, maybe they're shingles, I don't know. And then I'll dry brush it with some gray and try to get it to match up with the rest of the roof. I am now ready to apply the clear coat on the Walther's Water Street freight station. I'm going to use MIG Matte Clear Varnish. That's an acrylic varnish. I'll be using my Badger Patriot 105 as a 0.3 millimeter needle, spraying at about 12 psi. As you can see, the painter's tape has already started lifting off the windows, so I'll have to make sure that's in place before I spray. But I believe it's now ready for the clear coat, and after the clear coat, I can get started on the weathering. I got my oil paints, got a couple enamel washes, I have some thinner, my brushes, pipette piece of cardboard to put my oil paints on. I think I am just about ready to start weathering on Water Street Freight. Oh, starting the pin wash. Starting on the deck. It's a process that Requires a bit of patience. All right, I have the pin wash applied, and you see it. It doesn't look very good. What I got to do now is I put a little bit of thinner on my brush. I have to go in and clean this up. This is the part where you can get your pin wash to look really nice. You can get it cleaned up, trimmed tight. All right, it's all cleaned up. Looking pretty good. Have the pin wash done on the deck. I think that all turned out pretty good. So we'll put those pieces aside since they're essentially done. All right, time to do a little bit of streaking on the roof. This is full strength oil paint. And I have a brush, this has the a little bit of a serrated edge to it. 
get this pretty damp. I want to pull this oil paint down as vertically as I can. I have the dark streaks coming down the roof. So now what I'm going to do is add some streaks going up the roof. I'm using a, a tan color paint. Again, this is an oil paint. I'm going to apply these streaks as straight vertically as I can. Okay, I'll let that dry and see how it looks. I have the roof streaked for the warehouse section of the Water Street Freight House. Alright, I'm working on the warehouse area first. brush here, get some thinner on it. Pull the paint down. Try to keep my streaks as vertical as possible.
Time to get started on the office building. The thing I keep in mind is, you know, dirt accumulates and then rain washes it down. It's like, where, where would dirt accumulate? I figured mostly accumulate on ledges. And, uh, you know, around windows. Accumulate wash for the edges. All right, so we've got the paint applied. Take some thinner now. Start streaking it.
you're new to this, I think the one thing to remember is keep your strokes as vertical as possible. And everything has to go up and down. You can't do anything sideways because gravity just doesn't work that way. Water Street Freight is finished. I now have two structures for my layout. And one more will go right here. So I have my Railway Express Agency that I did a three part series on. And the Water Street Freight which was a completion project that I started five years ago. And now in this video, I gave you a demonstration of how I do my oil paint weathering. And it's nice to get just a little taste of the flavor. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of work to do before these buildings are installed. But it is a big motivator. Well, I think that's about it for this one. I hope you found the oil paint weathering demonstration useful. And I want to thank you for watching.